We begin right now with work on upgraded lightning detection at Seaside Park. It's expected to begin tomorrow and it comes after a weekend of storms impacted many Jersey Shore beaches. Sadly, Tom Riverman died while trying to save others from the storm. News 12 New Jersey's Jim Murdoch reports from Ocean County. We don't want to tell people when the storm is here. We want to tell people that the storm is coming so that they can stay ahead of it. A view to the western sky yesterday evening in Ocean County looked a lot like this. The leading edge of severe thunderstorms moved over towns from Point Pleasant Beach to Seaside Park. And in the event of a thunderstorm, unfortunately, the beach is a very dangerous place to be. So if you feel things like a, a wind shift, you know, if it's fluttering back and forth between hot and cold, obviously you see the clouds, you hear a little rumbles of thunder, that those are signs to get yet yeah, to maybe get off the beach. As those storm clouds moved in here last evening around 7 p.m., 58-year-old Patrick Disposo tried to warn a group of kids he saw on the beach after guards had already gone home. His girlfriend Ruth tells me he made sure she was safe inside his truck before heading up the dune and onto the sand. Then the storm hit. A short time later, Patrick was found unresponsive and CPR efforts began immediately. He was pronounced dead just before nine. Ruth believes he was the latest victim of a lightning strike at the Jersey Shore, but died a hero trying to get those kids he saw on the beach to safety and shelter. Patrick's death comes just three years after the lifeguard tragedy in Berkeley Township when Keith Pinto was struck and killed by a sudden bolt. Captain Rankin tells us lessons were learned, the main reason why Seaside will have a new detection system ready in weeks. It's impossible to be perfect when it comes to something like lightning, but if we can be ahead of it using the, the resources that we have and get people uh, you know, into a safe place and keep people out of danger, that's huge. That's a tough message to get to people, especially young, stubborn kids that just don't want to leave. In Seaside Park, Jim Murdoch, News 12, New Jersey. Now, Patrick's loved ones say they'll never forget their lovable cowboy hero. Captain Rankin, meanwhile, is urging everyone to be weather aware while you're at the beach when storms are in the forecast. He says that you should frequently check radar apps, watch for towering clouds and heat warnings to clear the beaches when they're given.